Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lynette and it's a tourism channel where I talk about tourism, travel, beautiful things, dance. We're going to incorporate dance one of these days. You just, you guys just wait. It's going to happen. Shall we dance? Yeah, sure. We shall. <laughs> yeah. So in my midst, oh, so this is my channel. If it's the first time here, feel free to subscribe in the button over there. Yeah, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this content, travel, tourism. What do you think about it? You know, the post-COVID situation. Yeah, so in my midst, we have the amazing Miss Tourism from the Northern Hi. Region. She's a personal friend. I've known her before even the Miss Tourism rain happened. So I was very excited. I wanted to host her on my channel. And she told us more about herself, her rain. What, what is she doing? What has she been up to? Hi, Jackie. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank it's you. It's good guys. to see you again. Likewise, likewise. It's That's really so been long, yeah? Yeah, and, yeah. And, and remember, I have some orders which you have to deliver. I know. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Yes, yes. She's a businesswoman, a very good businesswoman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, hi, Jackie. Tell us more. About um, hi, people. Um, my name is uh, Coach Jackie Abalo, as you know. Yeah. Yes. Um, um, do I have to say my age? No. Feel I'm, free. Tell I'm, us what I'm, you want. I'm of the legal age. <laughs> <laughs> That's what matters, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Of the legal age, mm. and um, first runners up, Mr. is in Northern Uganda. Yeah, and I'm happy to host me today. I've been seeing from afar, I was wondering, hey, this girl, where am I coming? I know, yeah, <laughs> no. I know, yeah. So, Jackie. Yeah. Tell us about your reign as Miss Tourism. When did, did it start? What are you doing? You know, as the Miss Tourism Northern, you know, what are some of the projects you're handling? Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should give a brief. Well, Miss definitely. Tur Miss Tourism. Most people actually, when they hear Miss Tourism mm. and all that, they think, yeah, just you have to be a beautiful girl when you walk and smile, and that's it, yeah? But it's actually far from that. Mm. As Miss Tourism, your work is to be a tourism ambassador. For example, like for region. A mm. mystery is in northern Uganda, fashion is up. That means I have to market my region, sell it to the outside world, encourage domestic tourism, encourage people to go and visit northern Uganda, yeah, and expose the various tourism potentials in the region. Yeah. So, as a uh, mystery is in northern Uganda, mm. uh, fashion is up, I've been trying to do quite a lot to ensure that is achieved. For example, um, I was organizing a cultural festival. We, we call it, uh, uh, I called it Piemiel Cuaro. Piemiel Cuaro. <laughs> yeah, hey! yeah, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, um, Piemiel Cuaro, that is uh, because um, my intention of this is to promote uh, the dance. Yeah, that's part of tourism. One of the things that stand out now. Chores in Northern Uganda has their Choli mm. and the Lao people, yeah? Mm. So this one particularly was for their Choli people. Mm. And what stands out about us is the dance, yeah? The La Raka Raka. We have quite a number of dances and all that. So this was to encourage dances. And this, I was doing it in one of the tourist sites, yeah? It's to promote cultural tourism. Yes. And now we in, in Northern Uganda, specifically in the district where I come from, I come from a baby district called Agago, a very beautiful place. Ah, Agago. The, yeah, you've heard about it? Yes, I have a friend who comes from Agago. <laughs> yeah, Hi! <yeah. laughs> Hi, Agago people. Hi! Seriously, so, they come yeah, from Agago. Yeah, so in Agago we have um, this rock, it's called Gotkalon. A mm. very yeah, it's a very beautiful hill. It's really, really beautiful. Thirty first, every thirty first, like there is fire display of fireworks. People thirty first December. High. Yes. Who yes. knows? Oh, <laughs> my celebrate New Year's from Agago. Uh -huh. All of you should come to Agago by yeah, the way. Wow. Yeah. So there is beautiful fireworks. It's a really nice place. It gives you a good view, and there's a lot of history about it. So this traditional dance was supposed to take place there. Yeah. As people come to watch and all that, mm. you also get a chance to hike. Yeah. So uh, in the process of getting like sponsors and various people to come on board, so that not just people from the region, like like people from all over the place. You. This is like an invitation already. Yeah? When is it? Happen? Um. Um. Wait for because at this time, due to the situation and all that, we can't really tell when Noma will return. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, so like when that returns, then we can set a clear date or not. But just know it's on, <laughs> it's on. I'm yeah, excited. yeah, yeah, it's on. So we come, we get to watch the various dances of their choli, we come to hike, then we have picnic at the foot of the hill, wow. and then that god Calon, it's close to what we call it. It's it's a um, it's how how do they call it? You see how we have Namgongo here? Mm. It's it's a matter shrine to oh. the one for Jildora. 
and Dawid Yokelo. It's mm. also in Agago, in Paimo. So after all this is finished, people can take a walk to the site and just, you know, get to know about it and have a short prayer and, yeah, just to explore these places. Wow. Yeah. That's so interesting, Jackie. So now that COVID has happened, uh, yeah. someone was telling me that the mysticism are going to rain for this time for two years. Ah, I, ho- I hope so, by the way. No, so which are other projects that you have coming up, apart from the cultural dance and the exploitation or the exhibiting of the Agago tourism sites? What else um, are you planning to do? Okay, so the other thing is um, partnering with a, a tour and travel company. Mm. It's called Emirates Tours oh. and Travels, yeah. And we are trying to reach out to mm. the various media houses yeah. and hotel service providers and all that in the northern region mm. that we can go. It's more like to Lambule. Northern. I think, yeah, to Lambule Northern, yeah. Mm. And we just go and transverse the various tourist sites in northern Uganda. And also, um, after this, we'll be reaching out to various schools, mm. yeah. Uh, you know, like, um, most times we have this perception about tourism that it's it's a foreign concept, yeah. It's, it's yeah, the white it's, it's for the white people. And, yes, it's the white to come and see the things you have. Yet we, the, the people in those places, we have never been to these places, yeah. True, true, yeah? true, true. So it's it's to encourage the people, the students. First of all, it's to enlighten them, mm. encourage like debating in school so that they can discuss like tourism debates. Yes, and tourism everything. debates to and bring all. the topic. Yes, yeah, so that they can actively get involved. When you train these young children, they can be ambassadors, and you know the path they can take and enlighten their parents, their communities. For example, the importance of conservation and all that. Wow. Yeah. Thank you very much, Jackie. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, we're going. To, we shall. We shall. We're going to go for a short break, but we have another video which will be coming up where we're going to explore the culture of the north. Yes. So just wait up for that. Stay on. Yeah. <laughs> Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you think about me. Tourism, northern region. What you think about tourism? Mm-hmm. Till a few, a few days. Ciao. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>